It's a misty morning in late October at Evans Creek Vineyard in Rogue River, Oregon. This year the grape harvest is late because the wet cold spring delayed the bud break and then the cooler than normal summer slowed the normal maturation rate for the berries. Choosing the time to pick the fruit is crucial in making the best wine. Growers determine when to pick by sugar and acidity levels. In addition to scientific testing, Nancy Tappan, the owner of Evans Creek Vineyard, likes to crush some grapes and actually taste the juice. Generally, sugar levels should be above 23 on the Brix test. In late October, Tappan's Merlot grapes tested at between 24 and 24.7 on this test, so she determined that the optimum time to start harvesting them was today, Saturday, October 22nd. Soil, aspect, and the microclimate of a vineyard all are factors in the quality of wine the berries can produce. Evans Creek has poor, shallow soil over rock, only one and a half to three feet under the surface, which actually produces a superior grape berry for making wine. That's because smaller berries have more taste and flavor. The vineyard has a fine aspect facing southeast, which is good for growing wine, and the hillside plantings assure good sunlight and frost protection. Tappan also grows Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc grapes and plans to pick these varietals as their sugar levels reach their peak over the next two weeks.
This year, all the grapes picked at Evans Creek Vineyard will be crushed by Ted Gerber of Forest Vineyards in Cave Junction, Oregon. Forest started using fruit from Evans Creek in 1989. Tappan's grapes are included in the current vintage wines from 2007 and 2008, and winemaker Brian Wilson anticipates that the fruit from this year's harvest will be included in forest wines available three or four years from now.